Say you bought a cup with this logo on it, which claims that it was made with 30% recycled content. How much recycled content would you expect it to have? 30%? What if I told you that the actual answer was closer to none? Big oil and the plastics industry know that the public is getting pretty concerned about all the plastic polluting our cities, our rivers, and increasingly, our brains. So, to convince us that they're doing something to address the problem, they've come up with a little scheme called mass balance accounting. Big Oil's version of mass balance is basically an accounting trick that plastic companies use to market their products as using recycled content, even if the actual cup or bottle that you purchase may only contain 5% or less recycled content. Under certain mass balance schemes, what a product is physically made out of doesn't have to match up with a company's claims about its recycled content. Instead, when companies mix up a batch of new and recycled plastic together to create new products, they keep track of the recycled content values as credits on paper. So if a batch contained 5% recycled plastic and 95% new plastic, the company could choose to allocate those recycling credits to just a handful of the resulting products. It's kind of like a restaurant marketing its hamburgers as vegan, just because they also happen to have soy burgers on the menu. But here's where it gets really confusing. Big Oil also wants us to believe that turning dirty plastic into dirty fuel that they can burn counts as recycling. In this scenario, even plastic that's burned for fuel would get recycling credits. Credits, which companies can then use to label their products as having 100% or 30% recycled content. You see, for over 50 years, big oil in the plastics industry have deceptively promoted recycling as a solution to managing plastic waste, despite internally acknowledging that it would never work. They need to be able to use deceptive tactics like making up their own definition of recycling and tricking us with mass balance schemes to make it look like recycling is scaling up to address the plastic waste crisis when it's not.